11.51. Now, listen, we're talking about litter this morning and whether you're out a walk, you're driving along in a car or maybe just going down the high street. Are you seeing more and more of it where you're going and just how bad is it where you are? Uh, joining me to chat a wee bit more about this is activist Edmund Platt who walked from Dover to Dundee litter picking and also we've got CEO of Keeping Scotland Beautiful, Barry Fisher. Morning to both of you. Morning, Connie. Morning. Right, um, first and foremost, Edmund, that I, I can't just gloss over that. You walked from Dover to Dundee picking up litter. First, first question would be why? Mm-hmm. And then second question would be how was well, it? Tell me. I sp- <laughs> Good morning, hi Barry, hi Connie. Well, why? Because, well, it's not our litter, but it's our planet. Mm-hmm. And how was it? That was just amazing because... You know, the, the scenery, you're outside, you're free. Um, we met loads of people who were encouraging us. We went into seven schools and talked to over a thousand children about plastic pollution and how any piece of rubbish on any on any street will eventually finish in a river than in the sea. So it's all about, you know, encouraging everyone we met to pick up at least one piece of rubbish. The hashtag is one piece of rubbish. And the goal, the simplest thing for anyone to do when they leave the house each morning is pick up just one piece of rubbish. I mean, you've just had one of your callers say it's no one's, res- it's not our responsibility to pick up other people's trash. Yeah. Well, it is in a way. Well, it is in a way because it's our trash. It belongs to everybody. I suppose. What, what did you learn from that trip that you didn't know before? Um, that that I was ashamed. I was showing my French friend Fred. We'd already walked uh, two years ago in October, November. We walked from Marseille to Paris, and we picked up over six thousand three hundred face masks. And uh, he always wanted to do the away match, which was my home leg. Mm-hmm. So uh, I learned. I learned. I was hoping that England and, and, and Scotland would be cleaner than France, but I was saddened to see the state of the highways and byways um, just kind of seen as no man's lands and where people can just throw rubbish. And obviously, you know, there are towns and cities where neighbourhoods are, are full of trash, and city centres are, you know, um, bus stops have got all the usual fast food. Um, remnants littering the place, not to mention the countless cigarette butts um, and face masks. We picked up 800 face masks and 600 uh, cigarette, electronic cigarettes um, between Dover and Dundee. But apart from that, the welcome and the people were housing us. We had no lodgement. You know, people were you know putting, up, putting us up. Ho- hotels were putting us up. It was just amazing, and everyone supports the idea for cleaner streets, cleaner cities, and a cleaner future. So it was a success, really. It was amazing. Yeah. Barry, you're hearing what Edmund's saying there, and I guess you're not massively surprised by the just the sheer volume and amount of litter that he was seeing and picking up. No, sadly, sadly not. But listen, you know, first and foremost, you know, Ed and what you know what his colleagues achieved, brilliant, and exactly what we need to see replicates right across the country. Just more and more people getting involved in in the issue of litter and turning that frustration, I guess, into action. Uh, I guess the the length of your walk out compared to others is a bit more extreme, but I think it's a great example of saying, look, enough's enough. Let's do something about it. Let's get together uh, as a community, as a street, as a neighbourhood and decide that we can do something about this, what we consider actually to be a a litter emergency. What are you seeing in terms of a difference in in areas, Barry, from, from, you know, and and particularly in Scotland? Are you seeing a concentration of litter in more, uh, like, specific areas that, that you can tell us about? I think, I think the overall message is that it's getting worse broadly everywhere. Uh, you know, it, it, if we start splitting it up into, you know, there's between urban and rural and, and, and you, know, real, you know, high on countryside, if you like, we're kind of missing the overall point, which is broadly everywhere, the data's telling us it's getting worse. Mm. And, and actually what the report we published yesterday backed up with the fact that the perception of the public is telling us they're also seeing it getting worse. So it's not just that, you know, in our team you go along, do audits, they've counted and find out things are getting worse. Actually, it's correlated by people's perception. People know it's getting worse. So the key thing is the what now. Um, and I think we have to acknowledge a couple of things. One is it's really, really complex. And if we start kind of almost blaming one thing for it, we're, we're on an absolute hiding to nothing. We have to stop that. Uh, so mm. I'm going to find mm. that one single thing that litter's all about and acknowledge it's complex, that everyone's got a role to play, but fundamentally be positive that everyone kind of wants to do something about this. Let's help them. 
let's find ways of making it easy for folk to get involved in it. Right. How, how do we do that then, actually? I mean, Edmund, you've clearly been, you know, put your money where your mouth is and, and, and done something about that in terms of a, from quite an extreme level. Not everyone can do that. So, I mean, <laughs> between, between no, no. both of you, I mean, what, what, what would you like people to do? Edmund, you were saying just go out and pick up one thing. What, what, can, what can, if people are listening to this right now, what can they do in their local area just to try and not, not only just clear up the mess that's already there but i guess try and change the mentality of the people that are dropping it in the first place edmund well there's always that i mean i was looking at the keep scotland beautiful website and you know what they're doing is great um i think uh, the idea is that you pick up rubbish in front of somebody you take a photograph you put it on your social media you nominate one or two friends for them to that's like a challenge like if everyone remembers the ice bucket challenge well let's have a challenge where everybody picks up one piece of rubbish on you know let's call it clean for christmas uh, hashtag clean for christmas and everybody nominates a friend and if we can get people who are big players um in scotland like tilda swinton lewis capaldi robert carlisle james mcavoy ewan mcgregor david tennant sam view uh, the comedians you had on earlier on gareth susie and jay paula mattini andy murray jamie, um, jamie mcavoy emily shack yeah. all these people who are on instagram who are influencing but let's let's call them influencers so that they can make a a jest towards the bin obviously pick, obviously don't toss rubbish out of your car don't leave stuff where you picnic or in nature because it's just it's a bit rough seeing that if we can get all these people who've got you know lewis capaldi's got five five point seven million followers on instagram and when he does a story he gets seen by six million people it's really powerful i mean we i've heard you know looking at the, the keep scotland beautiful website 87 percent of scots believe litter is a problem and nine out of ten want more education and behavioral campaigns but how many of those people are willing to themselves act and just pick up one oh, piece of rubbish? Yeah. I mean, that, we, were in, we were in Edinburgh, yeah, we were at Edinburgh Waverley and we picked up all the rubbish out of all the bushes and there was just loads of Costa Cups, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Red Bull, Capri Sun. That's just shocking, you know. So we're all concerned, you know, we're all capable of acting as well. And as they say on Keep, keep Scotland Beautiful, it's an upstream battle. And, you know, let's all come together and do something clean for Christmas. Why not? Yeah, ju just a really uh, brief point, Barry, just as we end the programme. Do, do you agree with that? Is that something that, you know, I mean, these campaigns are not necessarily just done overnight. This takes a long time to, to get things moving and do it properly. But is that something mm -hmm. that, that you would like to be part of? And, and you think that actually pe that other people need to take responsibility and say, right, come on, we need to do something about this? Yeah, listen, we, we, we've got loads of different ways and we would love folk to come, come to our website and have a look at the different ways that communities are getting together to do things. I'll give you a couple of examples. Uh, we, we set up over 100 community hubs in the last year, uh, giving people the kit to just take action and then loan that kit out to other members of the community so they can get together and collectively do uh, litter picks. You'd be amazed how much fun it is. It's great fun getting communities together, taking some action. And, have a, and you have a really good chat. We were with a, a corporate supporter the other day in Sight Hill Park in Edinburgh, and the conversation was great. You know, two hours, we collected over 60 bags. You feel great because you've tightened yeah. up the area, but also you've engaged with your colleagues in a different way, which uh, is great. And that's the thing, isn't it? It's just bring, bringing that community together. Listen, um, thank you so much, uh, both of you, for your time today. Barry Fisher, CEO of Keeping Scotland Beautiful, and Edmund Platt walked from Dover to Dundee picking up litter. Great to speak to both of you. Thank you. Have a great day. Cheers, um, and have a look at my web, have a look at my website, theenglishsnail.com. Well, the well, Englishsnail.com. Take care. Well done. Sorry, love to collaborate with you. Speak to you soon. Love uh, love that plug there from Edmund. Nice one for that. Uh, listen, that's all we've got time for today. Lunchtime Live is up next. Stephen's back tomorrow, and I'll see you again next week. Uh, enjoy your afternoon. It's time for Hayley and Barry. Thanks, Connie.